Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more TA for you guys. So jumping into this session here, I'm going to do my best to kind of navigate around the Afternoon Soak Flan players. I've been playing for quite a bit, um, just kind of trying to record here and there, but... You know, running into some roadblocks, matching into pretty much Emperor's non-stop, and Ledger player as well. So that was great. Um, <laughs> uh, so it has been it has been a wonderful experience uh, for the past few hours or so. But here we are sitting here up against a champion player. First one I've seen in a while. So we're going to savor this moment here. Uh, this guy bans Harseti and New Moon Luna. So we're going to see... I don't want to pick Afternoon Soak Flan as a first pick unit though, because she's so easily counterpicked by my opponents. Every time I try to use her, uh, I kind of get destroyed. So yeah, we're going to try to save her for later in the draft, see if that can improve her odds of winning. This guy goes immediately for a Dragon King Sharoon first pick. Okay, that is, uh, it's a little odd, but I can see the merit in doing something like that. Normally people save her for a ban protection slot. But, hey, picking her early saves that ban protection slot for something else later, depending on how I adapt to his draft. Maybe I need to start doing stuff like this, just counterpicking immediately. That is... not what I expected to see. That's a very dedicated counterpicks here. Alright, so... Dragon King Shroon and Elena... How do I expect to fight two Soul Weavers here? I guess, uh, Selene doesn't really work against Dragon King Shireen, because she doesn't have a non-attack skill. I could try- ooh, so Sylvan Sage Vivian does seem okay. Apoc Ravi could also be good into low damage Soul Weavers like this. Hand Guy could also be a pretty decent pseudo DPS unit. I guess I could go for something like a hand guy here. Just like a generic support, I don't really know what to go for. I guess we'll pick Flan as our ban protect. We'll just, I don't know, I really don't know what to do here. Against doubles, this is really weird. And this is one of the other things I've been running into is that a lot of players I've been fighting have been using units that I don't typically see, or at least drafting in a way that I'm not typically used to. So it is, uh, <laughs> it's quite a doozy. Why do to fight? Alright. Oh! Oh! Shalantir Ban Protected got ML Politis picked up. Alright, see? This is what I mean. When you try to go for something like this, be prepared. Because now you're going to fight all of these shenanigans. Um, ML Politis counterpick. Shalantir counterpick. I don't know if I have to pick two fast units here. I have to pick two very fast units here, and I don't really have any fast units that can deal with the Shalantir! That's the issue! Uh-oh. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. I could go for... I could go for a last piece Karin. You know what? I think I could. I could go for a last piece Karin. And I would just have to go for... Uh, is Flitica even worth it? Yeah, let's go for Flitica. Let's just, we have to. We can try to reset this, uh, shell tier here. Both these units, hopefully faster than the Emo Politis, but it's a speed race now, right? He needs to pick another fast unit, and... Honestly, I don't think my Flitica outspeeds this Emo Politis. I might have to ban her, but whoever he picks here also has to be faster than my last piece, Karin, unless he bans her. If my last piece, Karin, gets to go first, I could just S1 into Shaltir. We'll dual attack into her, and it should kill. Okay. Hang on, this might work. We ban this. He bans last piece, Karin. That is fine. Oh, this is, a, this is a little iffy here. I'm gonna give the HP to Hand Guy. Hand Guy's giving attack to everyone, which is fine. HP to those two is fine. Flitica does, uh... Does she need the effectiveness? I don't think so. We just need to reset the shout here. I'm not hitting anybody else. We'll give the uh, attack buff, the attack imprint, so that the flan can hit even harder, which is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna push up the entire team, hopefully. Oh, it's a fast shout here. All right, I can't S2, otherwise Elena's gonna go and give everyone invincibility and resistance. So I'm gonna go for the shout here immediately. Push everybody up 25% combat readiness. Hand guy does go, and I will S1 to push up. 
Please kill! There you go! And now... I think we're good. <laughs> I, think, I think we got it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Shal that's the problem with Shaltier as a counter pick. They pick way too many Soul Weavers. Again, I'm not sure what the first two picks were about, right? Not sure what the first two picks were about, but that was... They were on the right track, I will say. So something they can improve there was the last pick. They just need to pick another fast unit to speak and test. At least scare me into thinking they're speak and testing. Uh, and then that would have probably done the trick. Now, the two Soul Weavers at the start, they probably only need to pick one. I don't think they need to pick two Soul Weaver Cleansers into a Tywin. Uh, that's a little bit strange. Or just ban Protect your one Cleanser and then pick some more DPSs or support, like, Knights and Mitigation units. There's quite a few Mitigation units that can cleanse. I took the Tywin, but Ilanov is another very popular unit. Oh, this guy banned the Ilanov and the, uh... Harseti, so this is going to be a Dragon Bride Senya opponent, so I'm going to take the Dragon Bride Senya from them. So hopefully deter them from shenanigans. This guy's also a champion player. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the first back-to-back -back champion player I fought in, like, days. I have not fought a champion-to-champion -champion player matchup in such a long time. It's always just Emperors. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. I'm feeling so happy now. All right. Blonde's gonna get picked up along with the New Moon Luna. I can pick a Cleanser here, for sure. I would definitely want a Cleanser. But what would I like into a, into a Flan? I think Karina would be nice. For cleansing purposes, I think okay? DJB would also be okay. Laya seems alright, too. Actually, let's go with Laya. How about that? Laya does seem very good here. Let's go with Laya. I know DJB is kind of nice because he does put immunity up, and immunity prevents his follow-up units from kind of destroying us, but... That's rough. Oh, that's rough. That Ron is terrible for us. Yeah, see? Look at that. They're just gonna go full-on cleave here. This is not good. At all. We only have two picks to counterpick a full-on cleave team now. I think I'd, I'm just gonna roll over and die at this point. Um... Not much you can really do here besides die, right? Can we go for a designer Lilibet and Ed? Ed wouldn't work into a Flan. But what if we ban Flan? I think we're still dead. Oh my god, what a nasty, nasty setup here. Navy Captain, he's gonna seal us. Oh shoot, no, we're, it's over. I think it's pretty much over. We can go, we'll just go Ed, because we can. We'll just go Ed. And I honestly don't know who the last unit was gonna be. Honestly, I don't. It's definitely not Behu, that's for sure. All right. Well, it's, uh, it's over now, so... Wandering Prince Sid is gonna kill the Ed. Oh yeah, no, my, my entire team's dead. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ban the Jacko. My entire team's dead. For sure. We're gonna keep you in the back. We're gonna keep Lie in the back. Uh, HP imprint. HP imprint. Oh god, this is terrible. This is terrible. I just look at the team and I'm like, it's over. Okay. You only live once, right? As they say, you only live once. Let's see if we can survive. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Who else would have been good here? I don't know. A Tywin? A Tywin might have been okay, actually. Um, Bihu was not the right pick. He's gonna go for this. Does this, uh, push up the... What's his face? Oh, there you go. Sid's gonna attack someone randomly, push them back. Oh, that kind of sucks. He's gonna soul burn, seal, unbuffable. Sid's gonna come in, bomb, stun. Flan hasn't gone yet. Okay. Sid's gonna S3. Nope. Oh, he's just gonna S1 with Flan. Oh, shoot. Is he gonna be able to kill here? Does Flan kill? Does Flan kill? It's a very low HP Flan. It's a full nuke Flan. Does it kill Laya? Please, no. Oh, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. Oh, guys, it doesn't kill. 
my heart is racing right now. This is insane. Is Bihu actually going to be able to do something here? That's going to be kind of funny if he does. Okay, let's do it. Bihu has three. Karina goes. Who is the worst unit to fight here? Sid hasn't... Oh. Are my opponents just misplaying? Is, is Smoggy just sending out players to throw against me? What's happening? They take pity on me? Because I've been... Guys, look. I've been fighting just Emperor's Legend. Emperor's, Emperor's, Emperor's just non-stop. Oh, another Legend player down here, by the way. Oh, a bunch of Emperor players, by the way. Are they finally taking pity on me? Is this what it's like to have pity taken on you? Well, it's great. I kind of like it. <laughs> Please. Please continue this. This is great. I like this. Uh, this guy's currently an Emperor as well, so yeah. We got two pity matches, and now back to the grind. I think it's because we took his Dragon Bride Senya that they kind of messed up their draft a little bit. Kind of anticipate it from what was pre-banned. A Tywin Ilanov gone as well does kind of look like a Dragon Bride Senya. Yeah, there you go. See? She, they picked it before I even finished saying it. Uh, Dragon Bride Senya, yeah, that's not good. At least that banned RBBBK, so they can't use those units as cleave, but as an anchor, Dragon Bride Senya is nuts. Thankfully, last match I had the Lya. Um, the Lya did help quite a bit. Now, what do I want to do into this? It's going to be a cleave. Probably going to be a cleave. Almost 100% very likely going to be a cleave. Ugh, I don't know if I want to take the Flan, though. She's a decent anti-cleave unit at times, but... No A Tywin, what knight can we use for Aureus? I mean, Albedo is not really an Aureus knight. I think Albedo is not a terrible pick here. We'll go for her. Who else do I really want to go for? I guess we'll go for Elia, just in case. We'll just go for Elia. It seems like a pretty... Pretty vulnerable Earth team, though. I, I do need cleansing, I do need mitigation, so what can I do? They banned two of the other best mitigations right now. I could go for Crimson Armin, but she's a bit slow. Uh-oh. Alright, Captain Flan, here we go! It's gonna be a debuff team. With Dragon Ride Senya leading the charge. Okay, perhaps we could use an Afternoon Soak Flan here. Can probably take down the Pirate Captain Flan early, or take down the Dragon Ride Senya early. One of those two would be a really nice pick. There's no way you're picking Ainz. Yeah, there you go. There's no way an Emperor player is going to be having fun at this rank. Oh, well, I, can, I can't say that. I did fight that one Kane player, right? That guy was a legend. That was great. Zeo's first picked. Or, Zeo's ban protected, not first picked. So, kind of anticipating a Harseti here, maybe? I'm not going to ban protect Harseti, though. I don't think I need her here. DDR does seem very, very good. So, I'm going to go for a DDR pick. Zeo is a little bit annoying, but he should be fine. Uh, the DDR for injury is going to be very good into his team, so that's why I went with him. Alencia, oh, that would just be another Earth unit, and I would just straight up die. Straight up die into this guy. Could we go... Um, is this the time to go Flan? Or do we last pick Flan? Let's go Flan. Let's go Flan. There's a... Pirate Captain Flan's good into Fire Flan, but you know what? Let's just do it. Let's bring her out. I really don't know what to pick into this. Jacko. What? Zeo Jacko now? Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Now this is a team. Could we go Navy Captain Landy? I'm pretty sure we can. We go Navy Captain Landy here. Uh, so we go. Oh wait, no, hang on. Can we just ban the Pirate Captain? Or can we ban the Dragon Bride Senya here? Oh no, I need a knight. I need a knight. Uh, that's what we need. We need a knight. I'm gonna go Karina. We need a knight. I'm gonna go for this. The reason I'm going for Karina is because I need more mitigation right now. If I can mitigate his um, Jacko and Rowana, because they can't really hit the Flan, only their Pirate Captain Flan can. And that's with an S1. She can plant a bomb and then detonate it. And the, art the bomb is coming from uh, a serious artifact that Flan's holding, so 
Artifacts don't care if you land a hit or not. They don't care about evasion. Oh good, he bans Albedo. Alright, if he banned Liar, we would have been in huge trouble. But this is okay. Karina will be able to mitigate a little bit of damage with uh, her barrier, but HP imprint to everyone. DDR's HP imprint to everyone. Alright, let's do it. Let's hope it's enough. I think he's gonna kill DDR or Jacko straight off the bat. Or not Jacko. <laughs> Kill DDR or Laya with Jacko straight off the bat, because he has Zeo here. But he can only kill one of them. I think he'll kill Laya, because he can actually reset DDR. So I think he's killing Laya. This will this hit into Laya is gonna deal a ton of damage. Yeah, see look at that. Almost half my health gone immediately. Jacko's gonna be able to come in and, and finish off the uh the Laya. And we're gonna be reset. DDR is gonna be reset, so he can't do anything here. No sleeps on the first turn, we're gonna get pushed. Ooh, actually, good job, Karina. Good push forward. I think we're still gonna get bombed though, but that's a good push forward. Please don't kill, please don't kill. If you don't kill, it'll be great. No! <laughs> that's terrible. Okay. Go for the Oh my god, he got the stun on DDR as well. That's not even a 100% chance to stun, he didn't even soul burn! Alright, Pirate Captain Flan's gonna soul burn to everybody here. It's over. It's pretty much over. He's gonna go straight into the Fire Flan. She's stunned. Okay. I guess the pity is over, right? The pity is over. There you go. Oh, there's the stun. There's the bombs. I'm pretty sure we're done here. But you never know if DDR gets a miraculous cleanse. Oh, never mind. There's too many, too many debuffs here. Uh, what have we got? S3. How do we cleanse? Oh, DDR cleansed. Oh, we did get a kind of a miraculous cleanse, didn't we? Okay, let's go for an S3 onto the Flan. Unfortunately, Karina is still uh, stunned here. Oh, not enough to kill! Oh, shoot! That would have been so good. That would have been so good. Alright. Karina's gonna lose her next turn. She's gonna get bombed. Yeah, there's no way. There's really no way that we can survive that. Um, and he's emoting at the end, too. Alright, Roy. Alright, Roy. Match up into me again, man. Let's do it. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna match into another Emperor player, though, I'm sure. Um, let's see what happens. Should I play more aggressively? I don't know. Playing aggressively is a little weird now with Harseti around. I'm having a difficult time figuring out this meta right now. Oh, yeah, see, I told you, it's another Emperor player. Okay. Who am I having difficulty with? The problem is, if I if I ban openers, they're just gonna go for a Harseti or Dragonbride Senyakli with these units, right? Look, I can try. I know a lot of you guys will be like, well, Hazo, why don't you try banning, like, such and such units? Um, we'll ban Ron. Who else can you ban? Ban Zeo? Ban Zeo? Oh, shoot. Oh, Ron and Arby, that is not who I wanted to ban. Okay, well, harseti has gone, after. Let's see, look at that. First pick, BBK. Immediately, once BBK is available. That is great. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we're gonna need to take the Dragon Bride Senior, or else we're screwed here. Who else does BBK cleave well with? Uh, we're gonna need to take Zeo, probably. I'm gonna take the Zeo. Take Zeo. I'm just taking all the things so he can't cleave, but he can still play slow. He can still tank down and play slow. BBK can still be a good anchor for his team. Knockwall. Ooh, he's going Fire Flan. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh my god, guys. I should never let BBK off the list. Nope, I should never let BBK off the list. That Ilanov there is going to destroy me. That is terrible. We're going to go DDR. This is really bad. I need a fast opener, guys. I need a fast opener who can help us out. I'm gonna go Sea Phantom Politis. Sea Phantom Politis. I need someone fast who can stifle the Flan. And last pick Solitaria. That's really all I got. I kind of just gotta go for a last pick Solitaria here. If I can pick the Solitaria, it will be good. Ooh, but Dragon King Sharoon. Dragon King Sharoon's not good! And a bunny dom. Hmm. 
I think I'd rather fight the bunny dom. And we can go for a solitaria. I just want to control this team. That's all I need to do. All I want to do is control this team. We'll go for this. We'll go for this. Okay. So. I'm hoping this is fine. Dragonbride Senya. We can go for... DDR in the back? Maybe this is fine. Hemopolitus giving attack to Zeo is okay. HP for everyone is fine. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll protect DDR in the back lines. And it's an injury fight. We're gonna see if DDR can injury down this team. And uh, I'm hoping that we can do something about this Ilanov as well. Let's S3 into the Ilanov. There's really nothing else we can do. Gonna barely deal any damage because she prevents defense or she nullifies part of defense penetration, right? So we're only about 5k damage. We could Soulburn this, but there's no reason to. I'd rather Bunny Dom just take the turn. I'd rather Bunny Dom just take the turn and push up her team. Gonna hopefully push everyone else back. Okay. Oh, not a huge ton of, uh, not a whole ton of, um, what is it called? Not a whole ton of res on this bunny dom here. That's good. I can go ahead and S3 into... I gotta try to kill this BBK sometime, right? I think it's, it's worth it to just go into the BBK, I think. Because if, um, if I'm not dealing much damage anyway, I'd rather just deal as much of a percentage of uh, health to BBK as possible. Okay, he's just gonna S1. He sleeps the Zeo. Alright. Who are we gonna dual attack with here? I just kinda wanna get this uh, BBK's immortality clocked if possible. Alright, we do cleanse. That's good. I'm going to soul burn and sleep, because I think the bunny down is pretty far back. Oh, Ilanov, Ilanov's okay. Ilanov can't do anything, that's fine. Sleep? Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. So now I can try to go for the Ilanov, or I can go for the bunny dom. Ilanov, Ilanov's uh, silence though. We'll just go for the bunny dom here. If I can kill bunny dom, it'd be great. Especially because now I know she's not really resistant. So we can throw Venoms onto her. Look at that damage, guys. Look at that damage. Please. Venom. Nope, no Venom. She has about 100. I think about 100 resistance, because Senya is not able to debuff there. Or 150. If she has 150, it's also fine. Ooh, she actually got the stun there. Long in the stun with her S1. I hardly ever see that happen. Not gonna lie. BBK is gonna sleep. She is fine. The ML Politis is gonna dual attack here. Into the bunny dom. Can we kill? No kill. Ooh, Zeo actually lost that turn. That kind of sucks. Bunny dom hasn't cleansed yet, has she? No, she hasn't. I am going to just soul burn and hope that we can land the venom. There. Detonate. Good. Very, very good. Uh, I'm going to proc the immortality for the BBK. There we go. And, um, if I can sleep with DDR onto the Ilanov, that'd be fantastic. Or not. Oh, wait, I don't have the rage anymore. No more rage. Okay, so he can S3. Oh, he's not gonna S3. Oh, oh, he's gonna hit the, uh, he's actually gonna hit the DDR. Proxis Senya, that's great. That's really good. Not gonna hit the flan. I just need DDR to sleep, everybody, after this, and I think we're good. We can strip the uh, immortality from this BBK. There we go, beautiful stuff. If we can S3, we can S2. I lose the big barrier on DDR, but I'm hoping that we sleep the Flan, so she's not going to be that big of a threat. Alright, well, she can still S1 and do a lot of damage. Okay, good. You know what? We did it. We did it, we did it. Ooh, even though she didn't fall asleep, um, I don't think she has enough damage to kill the DDR, Politis, or the Senya. Senya has an AoE S3 coming in that's going to deal quite a bit. Obviously not a whole ton because the Ilanov is still alive, but Zeo would have died. But yeah, I think, oh man, that, that worked out quite well. I was kind of nervous about that one. Oof, these top 2000 fights, guys, they're, they're kind of rough. Okay, let's do one more. Let's see if we can come out of this one unscathed.
All right, let's ban the uh, RB, ban the Ron. No, 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 that's not what we want to do. Ban the BBK. Can we let RB off the list is the thing. Can we let RB off the list? Can we ban... Let's just ban Ron instead. I feel like I'm getting like Ron ban protected and like people cleave with Ron or Zeo ban protected like Jacko stuff. So let's do this. No BBK, no Ron. This guy goes no New Moon Luna, no DDR. That's fine. We'll go with it. I'll go with uh, a Tywin. So because they haven't banned Empyrean Ilanov, I don't think they're going Dragon Bride Senya. Let's see what their first pick's gonna be. I'm hoping they don't take the Flan either. I kind of want to use her. My opponent last match took the Flan, and I did not like that. Okay, Empyrean Ilanov is okay. A Tywin's, again, A Tywin's really good into Ilanov, so I'm not phased by that. Oh man, are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna say, like, I took BBK off the bands, immediate BBK match. Uh, took RB off the bands, immediate RB match would have been just diabolical. I would have gone nuts. Uh, they would permanently be banned for the rest of the season. I feel like RB BBK, uh, my friend Idia, Idiocracy, uh, another creator on YouTube, he, he put it very well. He said that the BBK and RB units in this meta are basically like the ML Leica Straze in previous metas. They just sit there and they're guaranteed to nuke, and that is a huge issue. Uh, but Flan here with Ilanov, man, they took the Flan again, huh? Took the Flan again. We can never get good things around here. All right, we're gonna go... Don't wanna go Karina? I guess I could. We'll try Karina. And who would I like to pick as a ban protect unit? Ban protection slot. We'll go Laya. Laya's a pretty decent ban protection slot, because I need more cleansers, I feel, into stuff like this, because they can easily go for something here that can screw me over. Having more cleansers is never bad. Okay, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. And what would come of it? I have no idea. What would come of this? Do I need faster units? I tend to not pick fast units because of Harseti. There you go. Because of Harseti. Um, if I picked faster units as a band protect, Harseti would have made them useless unless it's Zeo. Do I need Zeo into this match though? Zeo into Ilanov is not good. That's the only issue. And if I pick Zeo, would I rather ban Ilanov? No, I'd probably just pick somebody else and then ban the Flan here. But I think we can, I think we can deal with Flan. I think we're fine with Flan. We'll go with Arya. Arya, Karina, oh yeah, Arya's, oh, Arya's good here, guys. Arya's really good here. I think we can go Arya, but I need somebody else. I need another really nice unit to go along with the Arya pick. I feel like Lionheart Sermia will get absolutely popped by this uh, Lawn. So we'll go Arya. Are there any other ice units that can work? See, said Valona's a little iffy. I actually don't know if she's fully geared. That's the issue. Um, Rem also a little bit iffy into this team. Not sure if I really like that. I mean, we could always do it. Let's go Rem. And Arya. He's already going slow with Harseti, right? So we might as well pick slow units here. So everyone's about the same speed as us. We could take advantage of my opponent's Harseti as well. Alright, I think we're fighting the first four units. We have three ice units for this one Flan. So, which means we're probably going to get crit every single time. And let's see what that last unit's going to be. Hopefully it's not something super good. If it is, we just ban it. Yeah, that, that's gonna... <laughs> when we have Laya for dual attacks, Rem with counters, and Aria with counters. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that Lionheart, Sermia. We've had enough matches where Lionheart has carried us through against these types of units. Alright, let's do this. Um, typically, Aria and Lionheart's a toss-up. Like, Aria can easily kill Lionheart in a lot of cases. Mine is not a full damage Aria, though, so I'm gonna get rid of the Lionheart just in case. I think I'm pretty good into this team. I hope they don't ban Arya. Hopefully they ban Karina or Rem instead. 
Oh, good. They did ban the Rem instead. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna let the Laia kind of sit here. She doesn't need the A Town imprint. Laia's gonna give HP to everybody. A Town's gonna give HP to these two, Arya and Karina, and we're gonna hope for the best here. Hope for the best that these two ice units can carry us to victory. If Arya can go into stealth, that's all we need. Because I don't think there's anything he has on his side that can really hurt the Arya. Unless this is like a full effectiveness Harseti, because my Arya has like 210 effect res or something like that. Oh, he does stun the Laia though. Okay. Alright. Sweet Miracle. That's not bad. I'm gonna wait to use my cleanse. There's no reason to use it now. I am just gonna go and uh, hit the hand guy for now. Nice job. Oh, that's actually really good. Arya gets to S3 and immediately pop off on the first turn. That's gonna be good damage. Very good damage. Let's see if he injuries down the Laia some more. Karina, I think, is gonna go straight into the flan. Right, if he does hit Laia down below half, we will end up proccing Karina. Oh, the injury actually prevents me from proccing that. That's fine. Okay, let's see if Flan decides to try to kill the Laia here. Again, it's okay if he does, we just really rely on the two ice units to do most of the heavy lifting. Laia, I didn't want to pop her skills immediately, because I wanted her to be able to turn cycle the Arya. Oh, there you go, beautiful. I wanted to be able to turn cycle the Arya. Now, is this a damage hand guy? 23k health, maybe? It could be a damage hand guy. It is indeed a damage hand guy. Alright, so maybe I should have popped the Laia earlier to push everyone up in stealth with Arya, but it's fine. Uh, we can go for an S3 here, because this will actually hopefully defense break everybody. If hand guy gets an S3 off, we can't uh, debuff them anyway. So I might as well do this, and then Arya S3. This way we can unleash an extra attack here, and it will deal a ton of damage onto his team. Arya has 15k health, that's actually not bad. Good, good damage onto his team. Again, my Arya's not a full damage build, so you're probably looking at that like, whoa, as in, that's not a whole ton though. It's not meant to be. Let's go ahead and kill the hand guy. I'm gonna uh, hopefully kill him here so that he won't be able to um, put immunity up for everybody. Oh, so close, guys, so close. Are we actually able to do this? I think so. Arya can counter here, right? He can't hit anybody else. Everyone's stealth. He can't hit anybody, so Arya's gonna counter a couple times. I'm hoping we hit Hand Guy. A second hit has a has a good chance, right? One in three chance of hitting Hand Guy. And Harsetti's gonna go afterwards. Come on now. Come on now. You know you wanna. Just click that button. There you go. Um, I won't be able to counter with this. Juan actually can't be countered with the rest one, but Harsetti, Harsetti definitely can. She has an S3 though, has she? Oh no, she hasn't. Okay, cool. We'll see if she actually has enough effectiveness to strip the Arya. Maybe he does? Nope, nope, not enough. There you go, good hit. Good hit. Uh, we will kill the hand guy, so he can't cleanse. Boom, there you go. And now he can still hit my other units. So the downside to this right now is that Arya, even though she has counter buff on her, she won't be able to do a whole ton to... Uh, other units right now. No one's forced to attack her anymore. But the good thing is, Karina... Karina can still attack with her own free will. Okay, so again, Flan's S1, gonna be fine. Not a huge deal. The dual attack will be kind of bad, but Yelenov... Has she... S3? Okay, so I could just uh, provoke... I could just provoke the Ilanov here. There you go. A time will die. That's okay. We can S1 here. Boom. Ooh, it's a counter Ilanov. I don't like that. Alright, Karina has one more turn before she S3s. Boom. Good. And if he gets any one of my units below half health, Karina will pop again. Or if he gets the Arya below half health, I should say. He hit both of us. Interesting. That's not how ice units are supposed to work here. Oh, he is gonna duel. Okay, crits the Karina once more, somehow. Okay, somehow uh, countering again. 
Can we... Can we actually do this? I'm gonna go for an S3 here. See if the splash damage kills the flan? Oh, so close at killing the flan, guys. 200 health. Super close, but this is not... Not as one side as I thought it would be. Flan's S1 here would actually proc the Karina. Karina will get a barrier and get a defense buff and push up. If he hits the Arya, if he goes for Karina, which he should, okay, he does. Please don't kill. Why is he... Excuse me. Wait, wait, guys. Excuse me here. Why? Is this happening? Excuse me. What? Is going on? How is he critting? How is he critting every single time? Okay, we're gonna do this. This should this should kill, right? This should kill. Extra attack. Oh my god, guys! Hello, hello! Please don't have a holy sack. Oh my god. <laughs> How is he critting every single time? Alright guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.